Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as I finish the job of killing a bunch of, uh, a bunch of faceless because, uh, well, I was a little bit lost and, um, I decided to come over here, that's why. That, and that they're all afraid and on fire and it's, it's a big mess for them. But not for me! Not for me! Now, what? Ha why was I lost and what happened there? What? Well, I have a thing on my in my inventory, I can show you later. Um, ooh, that was a resist, very nice. Um, I have a thing in my inventory that... Uh, ooh, this is bad news. That was another resist, okay. Uh, potentially... Do these guys keep spawning? That's a good question. Do these guys keep spawning? I'm immediately asking. Because look at how many of them there is. Or there are. Now we're in a very good position here. This is this is pretty good. They're this this is good, because they're afraid. They're afraid for very long. I can afraid them all. Like I'm extremely powerful. Except for the fact that I have spent a bunch of time um uh, ooh, that implosion thing might be a good thing to use. Um, I have spent a bunch of time messing around with these things. Hmm. The last episode was all here. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun, and I'm thinking and trying to commentate at the same time. I'm thinking this followed by an implosion um, on that guy. I think that's good. So it deals mechanical mechanical damage equals to 75 of the target's current health. This attack bypasses damage thresholds and shields, but cannot critically hit, which is I, I which means that well, I guess it just means that it's never 150 percent. He can one shot. It's fine. It's fine. The, the one about not being critically hit that's good. The thing is, when that centaur blows up, everyone around it dies. Because this thing has health for days, and already uh, one of the um, one of the armored uh, augmented rat hounds, that thing blowing up is already pretty powerful. Even though, as far as I can tell, it didn't quite work out. Is there a limitation to this? So, yeah, the centaur resists a bunch of damage, which is stupid. Because it specifically said that it doesn't. So that's a bug, as far as I can tell. That is a bug. Now, a lot of them are on fire. Including the centaur. Who is also about to die. So how about I do a psychognitive cognitive interruption? No, 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 that's for Psy attackers. I could do another Frighten with the Locus of Control. Yeah, let's do that. Um, now that Centaur is still an issue, but at least I, I can sort of focus. Without fear. Uh, that, that, yeah. So that, that's bad. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of what transpired here. I'm not even sure what transpired here. So... Uh... Let me try to figure it out. So there's a faceless corpse there. This doesn't seem to go anywhere, although that could be it. My intention here is that I don't die. That's my intention. This thing comes back. Yeah, no, no, not right now. I should be able to not die. 
because the, the fear is gonna last for a while and these guys are mostly useless against me so my objective at the moment is to see if they keep spawning because I think they do it's not possible yeah it's basically not possible that they that these guys were all over here they just absolutely keep spawning which means we shouldn't be here the good thing is I think the bodies will remain forever so once we deal with the faceless and they stop spawning oh that's bad news I'm not sure I'll, I'll be able to go there uh, once we deal with the faceless and they stop spawning the um, yeah you can't leave okay that's pretty important because yeah once you deal with the faceless all those bodies are gonna be on the floor <laughs> uh, so I we, we spent last episode in an exercise in futility unfortunately but we learned I mean, it was fun. I like I like the ex I mean, it's, it's good to use my abilities. It's always good to use my abilities. You catch no signal here, uh, so let's let's just try to find out where the heck these fools went. The signal is coming from northwest, from the northwest. Yeah, there it is. We're figuring it out. Although, you might have commented in the last episode that uh, you might know this in advance. It's from the north. Which is kind of complicated because um, there's nothing north, as far as I know, anyway. Let's see if there's any signal down here, somewhere above. Yep. Yeah. So if it says somewhere above, then that there definitely is something north of here, and, and you'd figure there is. It's just we need to go around. Uh, triangulating this relatively well, though. The problem is, I think this might be a dead end. Nah, maybe not. Something from the... Oh, that's good. Somewhere from the north. Because we're doing missions for JKK. Is that for JKK? No, for Cortex. Sorry. Hello, everybody. Is it from here? Coming from nearby. Hello, Mr. Zoner. Mm-hmm. Could have been for the, from these guys. Advanced electronics repair kit. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't know why I didn't before. I mean... Could be this ladder, but we've been down there, haven't we? What is that? No. Some groin guards and whatnot. Women don't have groins. So you can also, oh, did you see that? Did you see that? That's the weirdest animation in the world. Or is it... It does come from there. That's that's really weird animation, but at least it, it's helpful. Yeah, they're in there. Lubin, I've been here. You weren't here. Why are you here? The terrified man instantly points his gun at you, albeit it took him... There's two its. I, I don't... Does it work like that? Albeit doesn't... Is, is not synonym to although. So although it took him one extra second to actually aim the barrel at your head due to his shaking hands, is how it should be written. His eyes... Or he eyes you for a moment and then speaks to you in a trembling, tense voice. Don't move a muscle or I'll blow your face to pieces. Do you hear me, scumbag? To pieces! Calm down, man. I'm, I only wanted to ask you some questions. Don't you calm me down, you scum. I know who sent you. I... Uh, yeah, that's right. Cortex sent me to get the device you stole. Cortex? How did you find me so fast? Uh, th uh, th I... Though I took... That's the wrong word. I thought... Thought, he means. I took care of the... Wait, wait, wait. Listen to me. I, I don't have the device anymore. I swear. I mean, I don't. Damn it. Ah, just make... Make way or... Just make way or I'll shoot you. I swear. I'm not giving you another warning. Um... There's no way for me to trust him that he doesn't have the device? I'll let you go if you give me the device and tell me who is behind all of this. No, damn it. I'm already in too deep. I'm not taking more than I should. I'm not talking more than I should. And I don't have the device anyway. Damn it. I should... I should stop talking. 
Well, if you tell me where it is, I'll let you go. Pretend none of this ever happened. Deal, I got intercepted on my way through the drop zone. Some hardcore looking zoner with three clicks... No, sorry, with three chicks robbed me, damn it. And to think it was a better idea to go through that rent, uh, wretched slum. Oh, right, he's talking to himself. Um, on that last line. Where are they now? I don't know, damn it, I don't know the area that well. Um, slanted roofs, large slanted roofs is all I can remember at the moment. Now I'm out of here. Let me pass or else uh, I swear this will turn ugly. Uh, no, thanks for the information, but you're still coming with me. And by coming with me, I, uh, I'm i killing you. But but not because I'm, I want to, because the, the, the game just forces you to attack. No, I'm not! A frightened, murderous stare erupts from eyes, just from eyes in general, as he r gets ready to fire. Oh, he landed a critical! Oh, that's good for you. I mean, it's not going to help you, but... You know how it is. Oh, he's not too shabby. Okay. Mm-hmm. Such is life. Uh, am I regenerating? I am indeed. And he's got some good things, which was the reason why I didn't let him go. Because I want the one lockpick that he has. Okay, so large slanted roofs. I... He said it twice as well. How the heck? Keycard required. How the heck am I supposed to know what roofs there are? You don't see the roofs. Oh, no, wait. There's one zone where you do. I think. I think it's this way. Uh, no. No, it is not. Uh, but maybe upstairs. Although I don't know where this goes. Maybe it doesn't take take us to the drop zone. No, this is the drop zone seal. Guzomir. No. You don't say anything. Look at that. There's roofs. I didn't talk to you before. Who are you? The bald man seems to be scratching a small brownish growth on his head. He stops doing so when he notices you watching him. Hey sister, need something? How's life? Meh, it's the usual drop zone lifestyle. Poverty, hunger, death and all that. Totally hardcore. In the zone you need to surround yourself with the people you can trust, enough said. That's the key to survival, apparently wasn't enough said. Otherwise, you just get picked apart by- it's definitely not enough said. Uh, picked apart by pipe working gangs or what have you. Sure, that's definitely how it works every, everywhere, for sure. So, not here, I would assume. I know there's one place that somebody doesn't want me to be in. Um, because it's like... I thought it was actually in this area. There was a... Yeah, it's not here. But this is definitely the zone, or part of the zone. Or the drop zone, rather. It's kind of difficult to know, because it's in the same area as the... Svetlana. I think I think we found I think we found what we're looking for. The woman aims her crossbow at you. Stop, bro. Turn around and leave. Um I think you might have something I need. Oh, and what might that be? An ICPD? You stole it from a man who came through here recently. ICPD? You talking about the gizmo we borrowed from that wimp? Her greed turns into a smile. Are you willing to pay for it? Perhaps. Good girl. Let's go talk to Duffy. Oh, this is gonna turn... I mean, I can pay. It's, it doesn't matter. Even if it's some outrageous amount of money. You're led before... Or led to a hefty man. As he turns toward you, you notice him... Or you notice he has numerous and shiny piercings on his face. All of which reflect the violent pictures from the screen beside him. He takes one last glance at the monitor before focusing on you, not doing well at hiding his irritation. What do you want, huh? Why are you inter interrupting me while I'm watching the arena? Death Hammer just killed 45 burrowers and he's about to kill some more, yet Duff gotta talk to this jackass here? Come on, speak already. 
Uh, yeah, I heard you recently acquired an, an ICPD. I'm here to collect it. What's she talking about, huh? ICPD? Duffy said, uh, Duffy, she's, she's gotta be talking about that, uh, whatever it's called you took from that scrawny fella. Huh, yeah, I remember the guy. What a meathead. So, um, is that what you're after, huh? This? He produces a peculiar high-tech device. Uh, yeah, that appears to be it. Not so fast, meathead. This thing ain't cheap. How much do you offer for this? Uh, how much do you want for it? No, 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 no. I asked you first. How important is the thing to you, huh? Come on, speak. Uh, ten charons. You, meathead, I think you can do a lot better than that. Ten charons. Yeah, tell her, Duffy, yeah. No, no, I said ten. No, okay. One hundred charons? Weak, where's the money, huh? The one hundred charons? That's with me. Where's? What do you mean, where's the money? Uh, show us the money, girl, says Svetlana as she laughs. Two hundred? Not bad, but I think it, this should cost more. More. Tina, who didn't introduce herself up until now, shows several hand signals to Duff. Makes several hand signals to Duff, perhaps? You have no idea what they mean, but the way she glances at you makes it highly unlikely that they mean anything nice. Duff sa uh, laughs. Yeah, Tina, sure she is. Oh, you're, you're, you aren't gonna get more for this. Come on, l let alone without actually knowing. No, no, wait. Let alone, as in, yeah. Th there's two meanings for that expression, and I used it wrong. You aren't gonna get more for this, let alone without actually knowing what the thing does. I'm sure I'll find someone. Try harder. Okay, what did I say? 500? How about that? Mm, I don't know. That sounds like some decent coin, actually. Duffy, look at her. You, you, you can get more coins than that. You deserve it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll find someone. Try harder. No, let's find another way to settle this. Just get on with it, will you? I'm gonna miss the freaking match. You're going to give me that device. Right now is what you're gonna do. And what if I don't? I'm gonna press my finger against my ear. And, and say the words. You ready? Prepare to fire on my mark. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Press my finger against my ear. Right, I'm not mimicking a suicide, which I thought it was. I mean, you say your finger, it's probably the index finger. Um, and I thought, why, why, it's the suicide thing? It's like, I'm gonna kill you? So, no, no, it's not. It's like, um, in the movies, uh, like, oh, you ready? Bravo, something or other. What? Who are you talking to? Uh, are you talking to me, Meathead? And I'm gonna stare at him in silence. As as the tension becomes unbearable to him, the women begin to nerve. What women? What? Oh wait. Um. Right. The chicks. Um. Yeah. The. I forgot. <laughs> right. Um. The, the his friends begin to, uh, to look around nervously. Their gazes scanning the shabby scenery for any signs of the mysterious plus one. Duff and you, meanwhile, uh, have your stares locked together tightly without a sign of either one relenting. But that very sign th that doesn't exist of one relenting, a roll of sweat slaloming down his face and between his numerous piercings marks the beginning of the end of the struggle. All right, all right, I don't want to get zoned out by a sniper or whatever. He, stare, he raises his stare as if to aid his aid his women in the search for the threat. Right. Absolutely, his women. Uh, here, take this crap. He hands you the device. We're good, huh? All four pairs of eyes are now focused on you, huh? Fire, I'm going to say, because of course I am. After the magic word has been spoken, you become the only one left standing. Wait, what? Hmm. Dispersed and hugging the ground, the group slowly comes to the realization that they are still alive. One by one, they raise their hands, listening to the blissful silence, silence by drop zone standards, and cautiously survey their surroundings. Nothing, not even a hint of anything stranger than usual. No, no, this is stranger than usual. All this interaction is, is pretty stranger than usual. Duff is the first to get back on his feet, and you can see scalding rage in his eyes that he so does that he so desires to punish you for this humiliation. However, he does not. He hesitates. He lets you walk away. See you around, Duffy. Take care. That was kind of... Okay. The result was kind of funny. Duff, 
Come on, what are, what more do you want from me? Let me watch the matching piece. It's sort of weird. <laughs> it's weird that he lets me walking away, because it, it it's just it's just weird that he lets me walk away. That's that's all I can say. Really, it's like, uh, why does he let me walk away? <laughs> He's only he only gave me the thing because he thought there were snipers, and um, then he. Uh, it, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Anyway, we have the device. And it's an ICPD. You have no idea what all the different buttons on this thing do. The big blue one seems very tempting. But then again, maybe it's better not to touch it. Yeah, it's tempting. It's like a... I don't know what... Should, uh, yeah, it's just for sure. So, how do I leave? Through here? No. No, was it through here? Hmm, I don't remember. I think I think I I went all the way around. I think we can go this way anyway. Cuz if we go this way, we go to the elevator. So now we need to go back to Cortec, I think. Yeah, I did look at me knowing exactly where to go. Kitty. Mhm. Mm uh we can go back, so not upper metro station. We still need to explore that. And it's a whole new level. It's a whole, whole new area. Uh, and we need to go to the upper level. Because that's where Cortec is. Now, Cortec is here, specifically. So, the easiest place to find of all the places. And here's the boss, or whatever. Joseph Harlan. And I'm going to save just in case things go south. Gary, I forgot his voice. Gary, it is a pleasure to see you as always. Uh, what is ICPD? ICPD stands for stands for intracranial pressure destabilizer. Oh, it doesn't stand for device. Good for you. And it is a prototype device that, that we've been developing at the moment. It has a rounded shape with four small legs at the bottom and a protruding vertical place or piece at the top. I understand it's a bit difficult to describe, but you will easily recognize it when you see it. Um, I have the ICPD. Harlan smiles, this time with such delight it seems almost out of place. Perfect, you delivered again. I can say, and I I am becoming more and more certain that we have... What? Oh, right, right, uh, you delivered again, I can say, and I am becoming more and more certain that we have made the right choice by accepting you as our employee. And Lubin, what of him? Um, dead. I see. I guess you had no choice. Here is your payment. You are shaping up to be a valuable asset, I can say. Good work, Carrie. I think the equipment provided with the payment will be satisfactory. He hands me 400 charons and an energy pistol. Now, I believe there is... His headset starts flashing red, interrupting his sentence. Uh, would you excuse me for a second? This seems important. He responds to the call. The more he listens, the more serious his expression becomes. At the same time, you hear numerous resa resounding footsteps as they stampede from one side of the hallway to the other. After a minute of silence, Harlan answers with a simple, I understand, and then looks at you, his countenance un uh, unchanged. We have an emergency. One of our warehouses is under attack. We don't know who is behind it. Maybe it's the faceless. Maybe... Uh, well, just go there and help our forces repel the attackers. The warehouse is located in the city, just west from the main city entrance. Expect anything, Gary. If you need to arm yourself, do so quickly, for every second counts. Now go. There's no time to lose. Agent Henderson and her men will meet you there. Uh, every second counts, he says. I also gained two experience, which is lovely. I think I know exactly where lower level. I think I know exactly where this is. Although I might be mistaken. Save the game. That's me. Quick saving. So you'd think it's here. But I'm also pretty sure that it isn't. I think it's outside. <gasps> no, it's here! It's this one! Right. I thought it was outside. The, oh, the, the place outside where... That's Praetorian security. Yeah, that's a different place. Uh, there's nobody here? I oh, know there is. Agent Anderson is over here. So time is not of the answers. Okay, you stay there. 
I'll loot your stuff. Ooh. Oh, our 10th Biocorp Technology Catalog Fragment. Lovely. That's pretty awesome. Okay. There's nobody else around here. There are no traps. There's just an explosive device and some dead people. They had green hair, so I don't think they were part of uh, the Co Cortec force because I don't think Cortec uses green hair. They use green eyeglasses or what is that? The, yeah, the, that thing up there, but uh, but not anything else. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.